Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Forgive all this clutter on the desk. I've been working from home lately. Uh, the COVID-19 lockdown uh, has kept me busy, so I haven't uh, done a lot of videos lately. But being in quarantine is getting boring, so uh, last week I started uh, making videos again. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check out my last video. Uh, I took the DNA sequence for the novel coronavirus and I pitch mapped it to MIDI data, uh, creating a sort of weird ambient music. And I added some public domain film clips and uh, made a little music video out of our virus. Uh, so go check that out. Um, also, quarantine beard. Like everybody else, I've been uh, growing a little beard. It looks crazy. I'll probably shave it off soon, but there it is. So this week I want to talk about uh, Bitcoin. Uh, the reason is, if you've watched uh, some of my V50X uh, action cam uh, videos from the last couple of months, uh, several of those were shot in my garage, and a couple of viewers asked what the big silver box was that shows up off in the, the edge of the shot in a couple of those videos. That big silver box contains my Bitcoin miners. Uh, now, what are Bitcoin? Well, uh, I have here some Bitcoin. Now, these aren't actual Bitcoin. These are little iron uh, discs plated with gold with a Bitcoin design on them. They were created so that news stories about Bitcoin could have some stock photos of something that looked like a physical coin. So, if these little things here are not Bitcoin, uh, what is a Bitcoin and how does it work? And uh, I'm not going to answer all of those questions in detail. There are a lot of other videos you can find on YouTube that give detailed uh, descriptions of how Bitcoin works and what it is and its history. And if you're really interested, do some searches. You can find all the information you want. For our purposes, all you need to know is that real Bitcoins are a digital online currency. Uh, and the Bitcoin network is composed of two types of computers. One type of Bitcoin network computer is called a node. And I run a Bitcoin node. Uh, the Bitcoin network nodes don't make any profit. They don't make any money. They're strictly a community service that allows the network of Bitcoin information to exist. There are thousands of Bitcoin nodes all over the world. There's even a Bitcoin node in an orbiting satellite around the Earth. The other kind of computer on the Bitcoin network is known as a Bitcoin miner. Uh, and the main thing you need to know about that is that calling it a miner is, is just uh, geek jargon. What a miner actually does is the math to settle transactions. Think of the Visa credit card network. You take your Visa card, you go to the store, you buy something, and a transaction takes place. And the information from that transaction goes back to a big physical bank somewhere in the world where computers take that transaction, apply it to your account, deduct the amount of dollars and cents that you spent on whatever it was you bought. So how does that work on the Bitcoin network? You make a transaction with Bitcoin, you buy something. Those transactions are collected together in what are known as blocks and settled. They're applied to the individual Bitcoin accounts. And the process of settling those transactions into the blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain is known as mining. And the motivation for people to run these computers that settle all the transactions is that you get a little money for doing that. You get what's called a block reward. So there are lots of people out there running these miners and they do it to make money. And I have uh, some Bitcoin miners out in the garage. 
Uh, there's uh, a bit of an arms race in Bitcoin mining because it is profitable. So there's a high motivation to make faster and faster miners. Uh, the miners that I have are generally second or third generation old miners. Uh, I, I let the uh, people doing this uh, as a business buy the expensive new stuff. Then when they upgrade, they sell their old miners on eBay, which is where I buy mine. Uh, this is more of just an interesting hobby for me. Uh, I, I do make a, a net profit from it, but it's more because I'm interested in Bitcoin as a, a financial study. I'm just curious what will happen to it. I'm not exactly a big proponent of it. I don't know if... Bitcoin will go to a million dollars uh, exchange rate in the future or if it will drop to zero and vanish from the face of the earth. But I just uh, enjoy learning about it and found the best way to do that was to actually set up a Bitcoin node and Bitcoin miners and over time I've upgraded those. But enough talk, let's uh, walk out of my garage and actually take a look at the miners. Well, here we are in the garage. You can probably hear the noise of the Bitcoin miners already. So let's uh, go have a look at them. So this is the enclosure and it's made from acoustic panels that deaden the sound. And inside of those panels I've glued acoustic foam to further deaden it. So it may seem loud now, but it'll get louder when we take the top off. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so the top is off and you'll probably notice that it's a lot louder now. Uh, and you can see that we've got three Antminer S9s in here. And in front of them you'll see three power supplies. And each of those power supplies is connected to a PDU, which you cannot see. Uh, it's down underneath this grill. That PDU connects to a 240-volt, 32-amp drop over there where that orange connector is. And each of these Antminer S9s is about 70 decibels and uses about 1.2 kilowatts of electricity. Okay, so we've got the top back on. It's a little quieter now. And you may be wondering where all the power comes from to uh, run these things. And uh, right over here on this wall, uh, these two boxes are inverters for a 14 kilowatt solar panel array that's up on our roof. And it provides enough power for the house as well as the Bitcoin miners. So I'll, uh, I'll have to do another video on that sometime, but uh, that's, uh, that's the Bitcoin stuff for now. Okay, so now you've seen the miners. Um, the combined hash rate of my miners is around 50 terahashes per second. Uh, terahash is a trillion, so that's 50 trillion double SHA-256 hash calculations per second. Uh, that's a lot, but on the other hand, compared to the total computational power of the Bitcoin network, it's just a drop in the bucket. Uh, it is just barely fast enough, uh, given my almost free power, that I make a little money at it, but uh, certainly isn't going to make me rich at the current Bitcoin exchange rate. Uh, now, I also mentioned uh, that I run a Bitcoin node. Uh, so let's have a quick look at that, uh, just for comparison to the miners. And here we have the Bitcoin node. It's this little Intel NUC computer, a very inexpensive device that you could buy on eBay for about a hundred bucks if you wanted one. It runs the CentOS GNU Linux operating system and it runs the Bitcoin software. It contains the full Bitcoin blockchain and it shares that data with any devices that connect such as a Bitcoin wallet to make a transaction or a Bitcoin miner such as the ones you just saw out in the garage. It has a capacity for about 
30 to 40 connections at a time and it connects to thousands of devices on the Bitcoin network all over the world. And that's really about all there is to a Bitcoin node. Okay, so you've had a quick tour of my Bitcoin setup. You've seen my Bitcoin miners out in the garage uh, in the big silver box and all the noise they make. Uh, you've seen my small Bitcoin node and the tiny little computer that that is. Uh, that's really about all there is to show. Uh, if you're thinking about running Bitcoin miners yourself, keep in mind that you do need a uh, 240 volt power drop with a large amount of current, like about 30 amps or something on the breaker. Uh, also, they're extremely noisy. Each miner is going to be about 70 to 72 decibels of noise. Uh, you definitely do not want to run those in the house. Uh, the, the prolonged noise would probably cause some hearing damage. Uh, you can run them in your garage. The neighbors may complain unless you build a, an enclosure like I did to soundproof them. Uh, but if you're interested enough and want to do all those things, uh, it can be interesting. Uh, Maybe profitable if the price keeps going up. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, be safe. Uh, don't catch the COVID-19 disease, and uh, hopefully our quarantine will be over soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'll try to think of some other interesting video for next time. See you later. Oh, and be sure to click that little subscribe button down there. Thank you.